Chapter 7 Harmony of the Self with the Body Understanding Self Regulation and Health. Recap When we now look at human being, the self consciousness is there, the body material is there, and there is coexistence between the two the self and the body. If the self that is taking the responsibility for the fulfillment of the needs of the body itself, as well as the body and to maintain the coexistence between the two. The self is one that has the will to live with continuous happiness, which is its need. It's taking the responsibility to fulfill that need by ensuring harmony within. It is developing right understanding and right feeling in itself for that. In the process, the body is used as and when required as an instrument. In the previous chapters, we discussed the harmony in the self. With harmony within, the self is in a state to maintain the harmony with the body. In this chapter, we will discuss the harmony of the self with the body. This will also help us to understand prosperity in greater detail. The self as the seer, doer, enjoyer, that is the body as an instrument. Now that we have seen the human being as coexistence of self and the body, we can go into the details of the coexistence between the two. Refer to figure 7-1. The self is a unit of consciousness and it is in coexistence with the material body. It is the self that makes all the decisions and uses the body to execute them as and when required. The self sends instructions to the body and the body follows those instructions. If you instruct your body to stand, it stands. If you instruct the body to sit, it sits. If you instruct the body to eat, it eats. If you instruct your body to stop eating, it stops eating and so on. The body follows the instructions of self. All these instructions are information that is being given by the self to the body. Can you see that? All the sensations taking place in the body are available to the self and it reads the sensations it considers significant. As you are reading this page, the image of the whole page and perhaps the table and surrounding objects is falling on your eye, but you are selecting what to pay attention to. You are reading the words now and at some other time you are taking note of the mobile on the table and so on. Note that the eye has no choice of the image being formed on it. The image on the eye will include the page of the book, the table and surrounding objects. The sounds reaching the ear will necessarily make an impression on it and the same is true for every sense organ. These sensations are pieces of information. Similarly, all the sensations of sound touch, sight, taste and smell are always available to you. But you access them only as and when you consider it necessary. You decide what to pay attention to and what not to pay attention to. Can you observe that happening? To take an example, when you want to eat a sweet, you instruct the body to walk to your favorite sweet shop, pay the money to buy the sweet, put the sweet in the mouth and so on. Who is giving the instructions in this process? The self or the body? The self is giving instructions to the body and the body is act acting accordingly. When the sweet comes in contact with the tongue, it creates a sensation at the tongue and you read that sensation as taste. Once the sweet goes down the throat, the sensation of taste is not available to the self anymore. 
and the sweet is in the process of digestion by the body. Try to observe the self, the body and the transactions between the self and the body. The instructions are sent to the body by the self and the sensations from the body are being selectively read by the self. All these transactions are in the form of information. No material transaction is taking place. Refer to figure 7-2. The self or the consciousness is there and the body which is the material is there. There is a will to live with continuous happiness in the self. That is the need of the self. Recall that it is you, the self, that has the will to live with continuous happiness. This continuous happiness is the need of the self and it is fulfilled by right understanding and right feeling. In order to live with continuous happiness, the program of the self is to understand harmony and to live in harmony at all levels of being from the self to the entire existence that is individual, family, society and nature and existence. In this process the body is used as an instrument for nurturing, protecting and rightly utilizing this instrument physical facility is required from time to time. A part of my program is to produce the required physical facility and also to protect it and rightly utilize it. This production, protection and right utilization of physical facility is only a part of my full program. A rough estimate is that the program related to physical facility is less than one-fourth of my program. Physical facility is required primarily to ensure harmony with the body, my body and the body of my family members. It is also required for right utilization of the body. The need of the self is the primary need of human being. The program of understanding harmony and living in harmony at all four levels which are individual, family, society and nature and existence is the complete program. In this program, the body is a useful tool, a useful instrument. In this way, we can see that self is playing the major role. It is the self that is the seer, doer and enjoyer. I am the seer. It is the self that sees the reality that understands the reality. You can observe that while reading this book at this moment, you are seeing the words with the help of your eyes. Is it the eyes that understand, associate meaning to the words or is it you, the self who understands? The eyes are a tool. The eyes or any of the other sense organs do not see, the body that does not see. Rather, it is the self which sees through the eyes. It is the self which associates meaning. It is the self which understands. Of course, it may use the body and particular sensations in the body as a help, as an instrument to see. When you observe within, you don't even need to use the senses. For example, to see your feeling to see if you are happy or unhappy, you are able to see it directly. Do you need eyes or any other senses to see it? The self is able to see the feelings within. In this way, you are able to directly see your desires, thoughts, expectations and so on. The self is the seer. It is the one which understands and in the process the body is used as and when required like an instrument. I am the doer. Self is the doer. Doer means one who decides, one who takes the decision to do or not to do. Whom you would like to call doer, one who takes the decision or the one who just follows it. For example, you are reading this book right now with the help of your eyes. Now observe 
who has taken the decision to read the book eyes or you the self since you decide what to do and what not to do you are the doer to execute your decision you use the body as and when required further there are activities of the self where the body is not at all involved like desire thought and expectation remember the example of thinking of taking revenge for 2 hours at the end of 2 hours who dropped the idea the self or the body you can see that it is the self that decided in this way i am the doer i am the enjoyer or experiencer it is the self that feels enthused or depressed or angry or delighted the feelings are in the self and not in the body of course there is an impact on these feelings on the body so if you are enthused your body is more energetic if you feel angry your breathing may become faster and so on it is the self that experiences the happiness and unhappiness in that sense i am the enjoyer self is the seer doer enjoyer we can see that i the self am the seer doer and enjoyer while the body is used as an instrument as and when required try to verify this in yourself body as a self organized system and an instrument of the self body is a wonderful self organized unit it has so many parts each part is coexisting in harmony with every other part the eyes are well connected to the brain the mouth the stomach and the whole digestive system is synchronized so it is for every organ every cell of the body and i have to do nothing to make these connections or to synchronize the various parts or to deal with every cell just imagine if the parts of the body were fighting with each other what would happen what if the lungs got into opposition with the heart the stomach started struggling with the kidney the hands got into conflict with the head and so on just imagine if we had to keep track of every bone in the body organize and manage them it is a good thing that the body is self organized it grows from two cells to the size of a child to an adult size in a well organized manner and every cell of the body is contributing to it it absorbs what is required it assimilates what is absorbed into various cells tissues organs etc it excretes what it does not require when there is any disharmony in the body it generally heals itself the body is like an instrument and equipment which we can use as and when required for fulfilling our program that is for happiness and prosperity our goal vis-a-vis the body is to understand its self organization and do what is required to maintain it to keep it in harmony in good health this is what we will explore next harmony of the self with the body refer to figure 73 just like any instrument or equipment that we use we have the responsibility for its upkeep repair maintenance etc for example if i'm using a car i have the responsibility to take care of the car i fill petrol in the car to protect the car from meeting an accident and so on our responsibility towards the body is in terms of nurturing the body protecting the body and rightly utilizing the body nurturing the body is by providing the right air water food sunlight etc protection is from unfavorable conditions right utilization would mean using the body for the purpose of the self the 
feeling of responsibility towards the body is called as a feeling of self regulation feeling of self regulation is equal to the feeling of responsibility towards the body for nurturing protection and right utilization of the body this self regulation is not restraining or controlling but rather it is identifying the uh, responsibility and having commitment towards the body with this feeling of self regulation in me i make a program to nurture protect and right utilize the body thus ensure the health of the body when i am am able to uh, execute this program the body remains in good health health of the body is equal to one the body acts according to the instructions of the cell two the parts of the body are in harmony in order the body is healthy if it is able to perform the instructions of the cell when you ask the body to get up at 5 am it is able to spring out of bed refreshed when you ask the body to play a rigorous game of football it is able to run jump as you instructed when you ask the body to sit for 4 hours so you can study for the exams it is able to sit erect without back support for 4 hours that is healthy body on the other hand if the body is not able to get up or or run or jump or sit up straight when you ask it to you say it is an unhealthy body a sick body when the body is not able to follow your instructions you come to know that there is something wrong with the body the first indicator of the health of the body is that it is able to act according to the instructions of the self the second indicator of the healthy body is that different parts of the body are in harmony amongst each other they are in order the human body is composed of several organ systems like the skeletal muscular respiratory digestive excretory circulatory nervous endocrine exocrine lymphatic and reproductive systems in a healthy body all these are in harmony when we place some food in the mouth saliva with ptylin is released it mixes with the food as we chew and helps to convert starch in the food into glucose almost half the digestion process is complete before the food go uh, goes down the throat like that every system is doing something and it is uh, finely balanced with the other system in general we may not be aware of it of all this till we fall sick when the harmony of the body is disturbed what do we do when the body is healthy it is my responsibility to make right utilization of the body that is i utilize the body in fulfilling my needs as we have seen our basic aspiration is continuous happiness and prosperity so right utilization of the body would mean i am using the body towards this end i will be able to do this only if i have this feeling of self regulation in me if this feeling of responsibility is not there i may end up misusing the body using it to get happiness through favorable sensations from overeating tasty food for instance and in the process making the body unhealthy as far as health of the body is concerned the feeling of self regulation in the self is primary and the health in the body is a natural consequence can you see that when the feeling of self regulation is there in the cell and there is health in the body these two together ensure the harmony of the cell with the body appraisal of the current status over the last 100 years or so there have been significant improvements 
in terms of longer life spans in dealing with communicable diseases and trauma but yet ensuring health remains a question mark lifestyle related disorders like obesity and alcoholism are increasing and so are mental disorders like depression with an even ever busy lifestyle looking for instant results there is an inclination towards the medication and treatment rather than on a comprehensive program for health when we look at these issues with the background of what has been discussed so far these are not the problem but rather these are some of these symptoms the problem is in the wrong assumptions one of which is that human being is the body with this assumption as we explored in chapter 5 happiness is sought through pleasant sensation through the body overeating and consumption of junk food etc has become common the body is harmed due to excessive consumption or overindulgence for favorable sensation since continuity of happiness cannot be ensured in this manner people tend to take to escape routes including alcohol and drugs which further aggravate the ill health further the assumption that we will get happiness from sensation through the consumption of physical facility has led to a high demand for it the production and sale of physical facility has become primarily for profit so much so that the food produced has large quantities of harmful chemicals primarily from the fertilizers insecticides etc used in the process of farming adulteration of food has also become common this and such other activities have resulted in contaminated intake of food air water and even sunlight most of the present day disorders are psychosomatic in nature psycho means having to do with the self somatic means having to do with the body the state of the self has an effect on the body a simple example of this is a rise in blood pressure when one is angry the state of the body also has an effect on the self having a bath refreshes the body and also has a soothing effect on the self these effects are very prominent when the individual is living with the assumption i am body the way ahead there is a need to understand human being as it is as coexistence of self and body it is essential to understand the needs of the human being and work to fulfill them with this basic understanding there can be a major shift in paradigm the significant part is having the feeling of self regulation in the self this can happen only when the self is in harmony that is there is right understanding and right feeling in the self with a feeling of self regulation the body will naturally be nurtured protected and rightly utilized resulting in good health of the body then with the family level supporting individual efforts of providing a conducive environment healthy food and home remedies etc long term health of the body can be ensured some aspects of it have been brought up for exploration in this chapter however a detailed study needs to be done for ensuring both self regulation and health at the individual family level and beyond program for self regulation and health how will the feeling of self regulation in the self be expressed what will be the program for maintaining health of the body such a program must necessarily include nurturing the body protection of the body and right utilization of the body that is what we want to explore into now nurturing the body as we have seen the body is by nature a harmonious organization nurturing means providing the necessary inputs to it the right inputs nurture the body without disturbing its harmony 
the body is not in isolation it is an environment which has some impact on it the state of the body the inputs and the environment together could be a cause for disharmony in the body to correct these medicines or medicine with treatment may be required overall the program for nurturing and maintaining health of the body includes the following 1a intake 1b routine 2a physical labor 2b exercise 3a balancing internal and external organs of the body 3b balancing breathing of body 2a medicine 2b treatment 1a the first part is the intake all that the body takes in it includes the air it breathes the water it drinks the sunlight it absorbs the food given to it and so on the body needs to be able to take what it needs from the intake for its nurturing and protection the air needs to have the necessary oxygen and other ingredients the water should have the requisite purity the minerals and other required micro nutrients in most of india keeping the body for about 2 hours per day in sunlight is required for absorption of sufficient vitamin d as far as the food is concerned it has to be nutritious it should be easy to digest and of course it must be tasty for the cell taste is one way the body recognizes the food and secretes appropriate digestive juices these are different for acidic and alkaline foods for example of course this undeveloped self may indulge in a particular food just for getting happiness from the taste another important quality of intake particularly food is that after the necessary ingredients from it is absorbed by the body the remaining waste should be excretable that happens through the breathing the sweat as well as the end of the digestive system 1b a regular routine is uh, required in order to keep the body healthy for instance it is necessary to develop a daily routine which includes activities like waking up cleaning the body eating and not eating in between doing physical work and sleeping similarly seasonal changes in routine are necessary for instance the digestion becomes sluggish when seasons change so traditionally fasting is done or light food is taken during this time similarly appropriate adjustments are required in order to keep the body in good health in every season to a the body needs adequate movement and exertion to maintain its health it also needs physical facilities for its upkeep labor is the effort a human being does on the rest of nature labor ensures movement of the body there are two categories of labor the first or main category of labor results in production of physical facility some 4 to 6 hours of labor a day provide sufficient body movements to keep the body in good health it is interesting to note that with this much labor more than enough amount of physical facility can be produced daily 2 hours of labor in the field is sufficient to grow vegetables for a family of 10 while providing the body with adequate movement sweeping and swabbing your room is labor through which the body gets a great aerobic workout and you get a clean room cycling 5 kilometers to work and back can provide fair movement to the body the second category of labor is service in which maintenance and upkeep of a physical facility or body is ensured even though no new physical facility is produced repair maintenance of instrument equipment body massage haircuts and such service activities fall in the second category interestingly the feeling 
exchange in performing the service related to human being is an important portion of this category of labor for example in addition to the way the body massage is done the feeling with which the massage is done is quite important a lifestyle which includes appropriate intake routine and labor would be generally sufficient to keep the body in good health however if we are unable to do that or in spite of this effort there is some disharmony in the body there are some more aspects of the program for self regulation and health below to be exercise requires exertion or physical effort or and it also ensures movement of the body the major difference between labor and exercise is that in exercise no physical facility is produced exercise is uh, quite useful in maintaining the health and the fitness of the body various means of exercise include walking jogging swimming weight lifting most of the outdoor and indoor games also provide exercise we a due to some reason when ex internal external organs get stressed the harmony of the body is disturbed then there is a need for balancing them bringing them back into harmony this may be due to repetitive nature of your work inactivity due to lack of work exercise or some accidental happening there is a need to keep the internal as well as external organs in the body by appropriate means 3b breathing is a significant activity of the body if breathing is disturbed due to any reason the harmony of the body gets disturbed in that case balancing the breathing of body is necessary through appropriate breathing exercises for the most part health of the body can be maintained by uh, these three 1a 1b 2a 2b 3a and 3b despite these if there is some problem in the health of the body then we take medicines and ultimately we also take treatment when all this does not work so for it the body is self organized and naturally in harmony it is able to recover itself from many disturbances for example if there is a cut in the skin the body has the capacity to heal that cut medicine is used only to assist the body to return back to harmony any antiseptic ointment is a medicine for helping the body heal a cut while protecting the body from potential infections the herbs and the condiments used in oriental cooking are basically medicines for instance turmeric is an antiseptic it is used in many vegetables and lentil preparations this way medicine becomes part of food such food is not only nurturing for the body but it also protects the body from infections medicine is helpful in taking care of lifestyle disorders non communicable illnesses as well as communicable illnesses 4b in the event the body is not in the state to recover itself back to a state of harmony there is a need for treatment for example if the kidneys are not functioning dialysis may be an appropriate treatment the body is unable to purify the blood so an external equipment is doing the task similarly in the case of any accident a ventilator may be required to perform the breathing function for the body while the body is occupied in self healing other aspects another example is the use of life long drugs like insulin to perform some functions of the body that are deemed to be beyond recovery now you can find out whether this is the right sequence for ensuring health or some other sequence will be more appropriate
Protecting the body. Providing a conducive physical environment includes clothing, shelter, vaccinations, etc. is all a part of protection of the body. Whether appropriate clothing is required to protect the body from excessive heat, cold, rain, etc. Shelter is required while the body is resting. Vaccinations are necessary for developing antigens to protect the body from viruses, etc. Like that, various protective measures are required for the body. The body is born. It develops at a natural pace, deteriorates at a natural pace, and ultimately it dies. Protecting the body is largely to ensure that the body does not deteriorate faster than its natural rate. Right Utilization of the Body As we have seen in Chapter 1, the value of any entity is its purposeful participation in the larger order. In the case of the human body, the larger order is the human being. Therefore, right utilization of the body would mean that it is used in the process of fulfilling human aspiration. If I am using the body in the process of fulfilling my need, it is right utilization of the body. If I am using my body for anything else, would you call it right utilization? Thus far, we have seen that our aspiration is continuous happiness and prosperity. Right utilization of the body would be for fulfilling this aspiration. We have seen that the need for happiness is fulfilled by right understanding and right feeling. Right utilization of the body would mean using the body for right understanding and right feeling. We have also seen that the need for prosperity is fulfilled by right understanding and physical facility. Therefore, right utilization of the body would also include work with rest of nature to produce physical facility, to protect it and to rightly utilize it. Revisiting prosperity in the light of the harmony between the self and the body. In the light of understanding of human being as coexistence of self and body, we could identify that the need of the self is continuous happiness and the need of the body is physical facility. This is shown in the figure 7-4. We have seen that my full program is for continuous happiness. A smaller part of the program is related to physical facility. In that sense, the feeling of prosperity is a part of the feeling of happiness. Once we are able to understand the distinct ways to fulfill the needs of the self and the body, we can see that the need for physical facility is largely related to the body. Once the self is in harmony within, it naturally has a feeling of self-regulation, that is, the feeling of responsibility towards the body. Therefore, the, the harmony with the body is maintained. If the self has a feeling of self-regulation and the body is, in, is healthy, these two together ensure the harmony of the self with the body. If you can see this, there is an important conclusion that we can make regarding the need for the physical facility. The need for physical facility is essentially related to fulfillment of this feeling of responsibility towards the body. That is, we need physical facility for nurturing the body, for, for protecting the body, and for right utilizing the body, and that's it. And if we can see this clearly, we can also find out whether the physical facility required to ensure each one of them is required in limited quantity or unlimited quantity. With this clarity, we can also understand that this is all we need physical facility for. Let's look at that. You can see that the physical facility required for uh, nurturing the body, like food, is required in limited quantity and not in unlimited quantity. Someone may require one kg of food in a day. Another person may require five kg. But there is nobody who can 
can eat food in an unlimited quantity. Similarly, if you look at the clothes and the shelter which are required for the protection of the body, they are also required in limited quantity. No one can wear unlimited quantity of clothes or use unlimited quantity of shelter. You require shelter for protection of the body in limited quantity and not unlimited quantity. In the process of right utilization of the body, we require instruments, equipments, etc. in limited quantity. For example, when we have to address a large gathering, we need a mic so that our voice can be heard by everyone present. This mic is an instrument which we use for the right utilization of the body. Now ask yourself whether you would require this mic in a limited quantity or in unlimited quantity. Again, limited quantity. Like that, you can see that any instrument, any equipment that we use in the process of right utilization of the body is required in a limited quantity. All the means of transport, telecommunication and television that we use are instruments required for right utilization of the body and they are required in limited quantity. All our needs for physical facility is related to these three things, nurturing the body, protection of the body, and in the process of right utilization of the body, which is, of course, related to the purpose of the self, because it is going to make the right utilization of the body. Is there anything else that you need physical facility for? Find it out. It is another homework for you. Unless you are able to identify that your need for physical facility is limited or the physical facility required for your body is limited in quantity, you will never realize that there is a possibility of prosperity. And that, 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 uh, that's what is happening today. Because we are not able to identify the need for physical facility, therefore, regardless of how much we have accumulated, we never have the feeling of having more than required. We never have the sense of prosperity. We only have the sense of accumulation, accumulating more and more. What has happened is that we have not understood that human being is coexistence of self and body. We keep confusing the need of the self and the needs of the body. And therefore, we keep trying to fulfill the need of the self through physical facility. That is how we get stuck. Are you able to see that your need for physical facility is limited in quantity? That is, physical facility required for you is required in a limited quantity. Can you see that? If you can see that, then for the first time, you can understand the meaning of prosperity. Now, let's recall the definition of prosperity from chapter 4 and qualify it further. Prosperity is a feeling of having or producing more than required physical facility for nurturing, protecting and right utilization, yeah, right utilizing the body. To ensure the feeling of having more than required, two things are necessary. One, identification of required physical facility along with required quantity. Second, Ensuring the availability or production of more than required physical facility. Identification of requirement of physical facility takes place through right understanding. And the availability or production of more than required physical facility is ensured by the way of right skill. Both are required. And if we put them together, we have this feeling of prosperity. Prosperity calls for right understanding and physical facility through right skill, both. One, identification of required physical facility along with the required quantity through right understanding. Second, ensuring the availability or more than required physical facility through right skills. There are several mis misconceptions or assumptions related to prosperity conception is that human being is just the body. Therefore, happiness has to be derived through the sensations of the body. 
for which physical facility is required in an undefined or unlimited quantity. We have mentioned this in chapter 5. The second misconception is about the purpose of life and therefore the purpose of physical facility. If the purpose of life is assumed to be sensual pleasures, there is misuse of physical facility rather than its right utilization. You can ask yourself what is naturally acceptable to you. One, indulgence, getting happiness from sensation arising out of consumption of physical facility. Two, abstinence, abstaining from use of physical facility. Third, right utilization, using physical facility for your purpose of having right understanding and right feeling. The third misconception is that there is a shortage of physical facility. Of course, this is an outcome of the very uh, first assumption that human being is body. If we see that actual production for instance, the production of food, it is reported in FAO 2011 to be at least 600 kgs per person per year on earth. On an average, we consume something like 100 kg of food every year, considering the population demographics of babies, children, youth and old people. With that, this production is around six times our requirements. You can find out for yourself what the actual numbers are by collecting production data in a village, a district, a state, or even the whole world. Once you evaluate all that, you can identify your needs for physical facility with its requisite quantity. Check if you have more than that and have the feeling of prosperity. With the feeling of prosperity, you will think of right utilization. You will think of nurturing others. You will think of production. On the other hand, you will feel deprived. You will think of accumulation and exploiting others. A prosperous person thinks of nurturing the other and right utilization of physical facility. A deprived person thinks of exploiting others and accumulation of physical facility. Now you can find out what you are thinking of. Are you thinking of nurturing others? Or are you thinking of exploiting others? Are you thinking of right utilization? Or are you thinking of accumulation? Now that will tell you whether you are prosperous or deprived. With this definition of prosperity, you can find out whether you are prosperous or not prosperous. Prosperity can truly be understood only when only when one is able to see that human being is the coexistence of the self and the body. Physical facility is required for nurturing and protection of the body to keep it in good health. Physical facility is also required for the right utilization of the body, which means for self-evolution within and societal development outside. My participation or value regarding myself and my body, that is to make effort for harmony in the self and the body. Human being is the coexistence of the self, which is the consciousness, and the body, which is material. The self is continuously active. My participation or value is to make effort for excellence, that is for understanding harmony and living in harmony at all levels of being. My participation or value vis-a-vis -vis myself is to ensure harmony in the self by way of ensuring right understanding and right feeling in the self. It means ensuring the understanding and feeling of relationship, harmony and coexistence. In this way, right understanding and right feeling becomes the guide for my imagination. Ensuring that my imagination is guided by right understanding and right feeling which is based on my natural acceptance. In this way, inputs from the other sources of imagination that is preconditioning and sensation 
are rightly evaluated. My sanskar is gradually evaluated till only that sanskar which is in harmony with my natural acceptance remains. By ensuring these two, the self is in harmony. What I am is in harmony with what is naturally acceptable to me. The self is in a state of continuous happiness. This is my participation or value vis-a-vis -vis myself. This is articulated in terms of the values of happiness, peace, satisfaction and bliss. My participation or value vis-a-vis -vis my body is to ensure harmony with the body by way of ensuring a feeling of self-regulation in the self, ensuring the nurturing, protection and right utilization of the body, ensuring the production availability of more than required physical facility for the above. By ensuring these three, the body continues to be in harmony. This is my participation value vis-a-vis -vis my body. This is articulated in terms of the value which is the feeling of self-regulation.